Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Today we're diving into MEM and we're going to be exploring their recent V0.29 update that introduced something they believe to be called the world's first self-organizing workspace. I'm going to give you a little bit of an idea of what that is and some of the more recent user interface changes that they've been having with MEM and also a little bit how I'm dipping my toes in the water with this application. So I'm excited to dive into today's video. If you're new here, it'd be great to have you check out Bento. It's a new application we're launching in the next couple of weeks, and I'd love to you to either become a beta tester or get ready for our launch by signing up. You can check the link out in the description. And also there's a video as well below that will show you a little bit about what we're doing with this application helping you to do less, weirdly, not more, <laughs> do less. So you can find the link in the description. So as you can see here, uh, this is MEM and a few things have changed over the last couple of weeks. It's definitely become a lot different to use. A few days ago, they introduced their V0.29 update. I know, very strange to have that. But you can see here that a few of the visual changes have come through and I'm showing you this on my account. I'll touch on how I'm really using it a little bit more later on. But you can see here that this left hand panel has changed quite dramatically. They've got new icons, a sort of new feel on this left hand side. And what's really nice is it's a lot cleaner. It's a lot easier to use. You can also see that when you click into a note, they have a new view inside of here. It's a little bit more card based, but the real really cool thing is when you open up another note, you can actually really interact with it much more than you could previously. You've got this little sort of dragger so you can prioritize one or the other, but it's great for being able to research or, or even just be able to write notes alongside each other. I'll show you how I'm using that a little bit later on, but they have been really adapting the related section. And this is what I want to talk about, and this is what their update is mainly about. As you can see here, they've got a new tags ability. And unlike other applications, what they want their tags to do is be self-organizing. So when you start adding notes, it automatically picks up on the context of the note and be able to automatically tag it for you. To be able to give you, I guess, a lot more ease being able to tag it and reminding yourself to tag it. So if you can see here, they've got three new projects, mobile and three added there and marketing site at the same time. So if you're using that with your team, it can be a great way to sort of pre-organize everything and really get an idea of, you know, there's documents that are needing to be found, but your team might not have the time to organize them in the right place. So MEM is trying to tackle that market. I've talked a little bit about auto tags for a while now. I'll include the medium post I wrote about six months ago about how auto tagging, I think at least, will be the future of note taking. And I'm sort of glad they added this because it helps to sort of, you know, see what it actually is going to be like in, in real life versus just talking about it on a website. So they've also improved the related mem section. So this is actually really nice. They've done a few things here where, for example, any sort of recurring events or calendar events that you have, it'll start correlating that and allow you to see previous notes that have been connected to a recurring calendar event. That's really helpful if you're having a team meeting or you just have check-ins with yourself on a regular basis. It means you can keep track of those notes there. You can also see when it's been referenced and when the tag has been mentioned as well. So as you can see here, they've, they've mentioned a few of the ways that they're sort of offering that. And you can also do the new hover preview, which I've always liked in this sort of area as well. So you don't have to go into you know each note every single time. And they've also improved, as I said, the sort of uh, sidebar uh, to be a lot easier to manage too. So they also added a bunch of new patches as well in their latest update, which I won't show you here, but you can see it's inside of my account. This is how I'm sort of using them at the moment. You can see my tags have automatically started sort of rolling in. I only have a few tags, but as you can imagine in the future, I might start creating them so that they can just do stuff in the background and I don't have to. So this is really how I'm using them. A lot of the time I spend most of the time, my time in these sort of pre-created templates that I make. So for example, I do end of day reviews. So what I'll do today is, for example, I'll type in the today's date and you, I'll be able to fill this in um, on how I feel and also open this up inside of the related area to see how I'm actually 
correlating to my goals so i'm really liking that having that side by side which is a real difference from the likes of having it with evernote and having multiple notes open and it being not very related or sort of connected as i was having it before but you can see there in the top left hand corner i've only created 93 mems in total so i'm still getting used to the experience in terms of fully committing it as an application and i'm really waiting for the ios version as well as local file storage to be available at the moment they've got a sort of web amazon aws sort of web experience and i've been using it for about three months and i don't find it to be the great place to style store files but definitely when i'm creating notes on like events that are coming up i really like having that available although i do have both my personal and my work calendar connected here so i might just sort of uh, turn one of them off which i'm sure i'll do in the future now i'm also doing like thinking sessions where i like break down a few things that i've got planned and also sort of connect the conversation uh, to other stuff i've created and i really like having that i like the spotlight function i like the speed of the application but as i said ios application is a big one for me i have a few templates um pre-built so i've done i've got zoom out which is like a way for me to just to, if I'm having a bit of a stressful day or I'm not sort of correlating myself to my long-term goals then I sort of go right am I actually doing what I need to be doing when I'm a bit like sort of uh, worried about whether things are going well I have theme block templates where for example if I'm working on a theme block at the like for example one hour of writing what do I need to accomplish in that time and that's really really helpful I'm just going to delete this one just so it keeps my Member count nice fresh. I really like some of the changes they've made here. At the same time, I really like their November update of the email editions as well, which they published uh, a while ago. But I think it's definitely a huge improvement in being able to forward stuff into Mem. So save at Mem.ii is the update. So I think this is a really great addition to the experience. To be honest, um, it's probably heading that way for a lot of them. I think the the, the smarter look of this is definitely a huge improvement. And I'm really looking forward in the next couple of weeks to seeing how it affects how I use my mem account. Now, feel free to uh, comment and share some of your experiences with it or whether you are checking them out. Also, super eager to check out the iOS version, which is coming soon, apparently, and also whether they'll release pricing, because I think that would be a huge differentiator on whether people will use it in the long term or not. Anyway, folks, a huge thank you for stopping by today. Make sure to check out Bento as well. If you're new, hit subscribe. And I'll see you in another video, guys. Cheerio.